Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Russian Fishing 4 and this is let's play number two. We are level one and a half, I can say, and we are fishing at Mosquito. In the previous video we did the tutorial and then we did some fishing over here. And now it is time to continue our fishing. See the wind has uh, picked up a bit. Uh, how are you going? I'll set this down. Um, as you guys can see, you can see the lines moving now. Uh, but also over here, you have this very tiny dot standing next to the E. And that is the direction where the wind is blowing from. Oh, and we got something on the bamboo. Let's immediately pick that one up. Ooh, and he got off. Too bad. I'll drag you a bit. Out of the weeds. Uh, that's a bit hard to see. Need to cast a bit. Third route. There we go. That is better. I'll set you down. Alright. So, let's see you. Look at that immediately. He's having some talks. Oh, and he came off again. So we caught a total of five fish so far. We got a goby hat, a crucian, a chub, a prussian, and another crucian. And we will be selling these along with. Uh, the rest of our catches once we reach level two. There, there we go. He's going. Ah. So you guys might wonder as to uh, why I'm losing so many fish, and that simply has to do with the hooks. Currently, we've got very basic hooks, and these. There's actually a joke about it. <laughs> these are made in China. Not the best quality that you can have. Oh, see that we've got some on the bamboo. Uh, same goes for the bamboo. These ones are not the best quality. Uh, they got barbs on it. Uh, but still, from time to time you will lose the fish the moment that you put in a strike. So that is something that we need to take into account uh, while fishing. It does sound like real life though. I must say. Let my fair share of fish uh, lost when, uh, when I didn't do a proper strike or when I was using a very uh, cheap skate hooks. They would actually bend or break off or stuff like that. Terrible, terrible thing when it happens. In particular, when I uh, you by accident when, when it sort of bends and you damage the fish. Uh, no fun when that happens. And my bobber's going for a run. No, not that one now. The other one. Uh, missed it as well. Alright, we are going to move spots. Because it is a bit hard to fish. So with backspace, I put it into my bag. And now let's actually move over here. So we've got a path, pathway, and uh, you can actually just fish here as well, if you want, just uh, walk off the path, but we will be doing our fishing here for the time being. So we've got a barrel, over there, barrel rider, and uh, we've got some reeds, another dead log, and then over here, reeds, cut down reeds, dead logs. Uh, so this will be a good spot to do our fishing. And with a quick look on the map, you can see a meter and a half deep is what it is here. So we can actually adjust our leaders. If I press one, here we go. Let's set this one to a meter now. Just like so. 
I'm casting that one over here. Bit closer to those. Wait for it to settle. Yes, good. Set it down and we'll grab our other rod. I'll place that one next to it, but I'm gonna set this one to 125. Uh, casting a bit further out. Uh, that was actually further out than I expected it to be. And that was actually to shallow water. As you can see, it stays flat. So I'll set you to a meter down as well. Yep, we already have a bunch of tucks on the bamboo. And he's actually lifting it up. When he does that, when he's lifting up the bobber like that, here we go. Ooh, that is a nice one. 100 experience, 539 grams. We'll definitely be keeping that one. When he lifts up the bobber like he just did, what actually happens? So you can. Oh. Yeah, you can now see it sort of flat on the surface. Uh, that's because I'm currently uh, didn't have the sinker set right. Uh, or the leader, I should say. Um, sometimes, instead of the bobber being pulled down under, it will actually be pulled up. What that means is that there's actually a fish swimming onto it, it will take your bait and it will swim up, causing the bobber to lie flat on the surface. That is one of the moments that you need to put in a strike as well. So, just so you guys know, it happens a lot uh, when I'm fishing for carp. I'm gonna put this one at 75 centimeters. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that is better. I actually want it to be a bit further out, so we'll actually be behind where I'll be fishing with my. Uh... Here we go. I'll be fishing with my bamboo. But in Dutch, we call when it happens, we call that an upstaker. Um. It basically it translates into a lifting up or an uplifter, so to say. And now you guys can see the message that just appeared right there. That actually means that your bait has hit the bottom. So now we're bottom fishing. Which is fine. And we got some action on both of them already. Wait and see who goes first. There we go. Obstaker. <laughs> and yay. There we go. Another person. What these do, nine times of ten, they do they will pull you this this uh, uplifter, so to say. Um and it's actually the crucians, the silver ones, who will just take it and pull it down. So that is the difference between uh, the two species that you might see uh, that one is actually now just sitting on the bottom so pull oh. mm. yeah there we go no look at them dancing And this is one of those moments where I always wonder. He had lifted it up just a little bit, and I did not know if I had to put it in a strike or not. And I think I made the wrong decision there to not put it in a strike. No, here he goes. He went quick. So, ooh, little speedy. Yeah, there we go. And we are only 9 XP away from reaching level 2. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Almost on the bamboo. And now also action on the regular bobber. Bamboo seems to be all the way down. Nope. Oh, there goes the other one. Quickly. <laughs> yes, here we go. Level 2 with a nice crucian carp. So I'll be taking you and tuck these away. Pick this one up, tuck this one away. 
And we are going to sell our wares. Let's see how much money we will get for it. I think that 500 gram carp will, uh, 500 Prussian will, uh, will give us some good money. We'll see. Here we go. 140, 31 cents, 37, the rest is 8, 4, and 3. I know, 6 and 7. No 3 cents, so that is good. So we're selecting them all, click the first one, hold, well, left shift, press the last one. 244. Not a whole lot of money, I ah, know. Ah, but still, gave us a bit, so that is good. Now, obviously, we could go to the store and get ourselves some new shiny things. And I'm a woman, so nine times out of ten, I can't resist myself. And need to get something. Um, I will not purchase any um, gear yet. Uh, for the simple reason that currently it is out of my reach, out of my league. Can't purchase any new rods. So this, by the way, means show all. These are the rods. These are the reels. These are the lines. Over here we've got spinners, spoons, uh, jig hats, all that kind of stuff. Here we got the bobbers. Over here we got our hooks. So now these are made in China. These. Uh, hooks are sold by singles, by the way. So just one hook. Now here we got the better stuff. Uh, so very 400. And one, 301, 501, those are all pretty good. And we got a bunch of happy hooks as well. Travels, jigs, and jig hats, I should say. Um, but it costs quite a lot. Here we got mini sinkers, but we've already got one. Uh, some other types of floats, or sinkers, sorry. Uh, pear, uh, West Hill, Pyramid, Frame, Drop Shots, Bullets. And over here we've got the bait. Uh, maggots is what I like to fish with as well. And blood worms. So blood worms are actually pretty good for catching frogs. So that is uh, it's going to be nice. But I'll not do that until we're level 3. Because then I think we've got a bit of a better chance. And then we've got a bit more money as well. Uh, over here steel leaders. And then here um, feeders. Uh, method feeders. And over here, this is for ground bait that we can use. Currently, you don't need it. And here, well, you guys already noticed me purchasing and landing that. And that is the main reason why we're so down on our money because that was almost uh, 27 and a half silver. So, we will, will be doing some more grinding. Now, another spot that I love to fish is actually over here. We're gonna follow this trail. A drunken man's bath is what it's called. And over here, we've got another awesome spot. So here we got a camp that we can set a fire uh, when it's raining. It's very uh, handy to set a fire here, just like so. You press E. Can press E again to turn it off, and with Y you can do some cooking. Uh, so this is tea, this is coffee, and this is actually spiced wine, or glue wine, whatever you like to call it. Currently I don't need it. So we are to do some fishing over here. This is one of my other spots where I love to fish. Let's see the bamboo first, and it set this one to 50. Because the water here is very shallow, so currently we are now fishing here, and that is like 50-ish centimeters. Um, if you think now you only got a small fish over here, you are so mistaken. <laughs> Out of these line of uh, reeds, I've put my share of big, big carp. So uh, yeah, they are quite some biggies, and let's put this one at 50 as well. Oh no, I was a bit too. Much. Here we go. Uh, yeah, he's good. Oh, well, already got one on the bamboo. Oh, he let go. Yeah, cheap hooks. That's what you're getting. Oh, need to cost you a bit to figure out. There we go. And set it down. Why are 
are you so deep into the water? That's a bit weird. Yep, yeah, there's the message again. Meaning that we are fishing on the bottom. Now you can opt to leave it there or you can just recast like I did. Ah, oh, but apparently it should be right there. It's okay. I'll leave it there then. Now this is one of the spots where, uh, like I already said, big carp is what you can find right in there. Um, over here it's traps, it's carp, common carp, crucium carp, prussian, uh, rough from time to time, bleak from time to time, tench as well on this spot, uh, and the occasional perch. Uh, and yet now he's taking it. Ah, shoot. And if I were to fish a bit more in this direction, over here, it's also more uh, perch and chips as well. And more here in the center, that is uh, perch, pike and big common carp as well. Immediately getting some action on this one. Let's see. There we go, our first perch. 133 grams. Uh, actually, let's see how many folks are with us. Currently, 9. 9 folks. Level 12, 14, 12, 2, uh, 9, 5, 7, 1, and 2. So there you go, guys. You can see level 12, 14, and another level 12. Just because we end the tutorial here does not mean that this is a, the starting area or that this is just for uh, starters. Not at all. Ooh, and look at that. Someone just caught 27.6 kilogram fish. A uh, carp. And here, 3.5 kilogram. Also a carp. Now that is some awesome fish that they caught. Whoa, some. And that is very well done. Um, That 27.6, that is actually not on this lake. Uh, that they caught it. Uh, it just a uh, old time uh, record that they uh, got, or they got themselves in the top five of all time uh, biggest fish. with that as well done. Right, so on this one not getting a whole lot of action so what we'll just do is we'll recast it a bit on a different spot. So a bit more, uh, not all the way over there but a bit more there. So switching spots does not mean like you've got to walk like a half a mile or something all the way over there. Uh, it's just a couple of feet difference. So there we go. Wow. Boom. That one went straight for it. Hello, little chap. Awesome. And our aiming is off. Uh, but that's because we do not possess a good skills yet. Uh, later on, our aiming will become better when we put skill points into it. We can actually do that now. So press 1. Uh, o. Oh, sorry. Uh, we're currently doing some float fishing and we want to increase our casting away further by 5% and our aim increasing by 3% and this is actually handling of the rod, handling of, uh, of your gear by 5%. Uh, I want to be a bit more better in aiming. There we go. For each level that you gain you get one skill point until level 20 and level 20 you get two skill points per leveling up and at level 30 you get three skill points per leveling up. Let's see, he's gone. Oh, no.
So the fishing seems to be a bit slow at the moment. Uh, he's about to go. He's gone. There we go. Oh, look at that. Now I'm bringing him a lot. Landing that. There we go. 722. 129 XP. That is mighty awesome. That was a decent sized fish. And it also was a lucky one. It is now mentioned in here in the chat. Whenever it is mentioned in the chat, it means an extraordinary fish that you caught. He is not fully down yet. He's chucking it now, he goes. There we go. And a little pooch. Yeah, that one was cost a too close by. To give it a bit more of a swing. There we go. So let's see over here. Was this one you can actually see this little V. That means that it is an extraordinary fish. In terms of weight, in terms of size, in terms of how it looks. And in general they pay you a bit more money as well. Not all the time. But they do give you uh, a bit more money than usual. I'll set that one down as well. And it helps us bring to level 3. Now one of the new things that they recently added is if you stand close to the water or even if you disturb the water uh, you'll actually disturb the fish and you'll scare them off so if they can't see you they'll be gone if you start splashing the water they'll be gone so those are things to uh, take into account Uh, it seems it's died down a bit, so I'll be picking these up. And you as well. And we'll be finding ourselves another spot on where I love to fish as well. Which is not that far away, it is actually right here. This is my frog hole, right there. I've had my share of frogs there, and then over here we've got carp mostly. So let's grab this one. We'll s stick with the leader, 50 centimeters, and I'll cast right in. That's a bit too far. Right there. So I'd like you to be. Nope, can't set it down because I am apparently. There we go. And we'll grab our other rot. Let's see, I'm going to swap this to... 75. Ooh! Already got something on the bamboo. Ah! There we go. Good. Set you down again. And you actually want you to be a bit more closer. Oh. Again on the bamboo. <laughs> wow. Here we go. Look, a common roach. Awesome. I'll get this one. Yeah, that's fun over there. Can see that. Oh, shoot. Accidentally pressed the wrong button. You could see it. He was taking a couple.
got a lot of short tucks to it. There we go. Set it down. I'll just turn it ever so slightly down. And what you need to do when it does that, when it goes really slow, is you wait until it's completely under. And you can't see it anymore. So he's giving it tucks, but he's not pulling it all the way down yet. So we need to wait a bit. There he goes. Now he's on the move and he was lifting it up. Oh, shoot. And we missed it. And like I said, that happens. With the Chinese hooks. There, look, he is taking it for a walk now. And we miss it on that one as well. <laughs> yeah. But the activity is definitely here. So I've got episode, fish are migrating and uh, if you can't find them on one spot, you've got to move to another. Uh, oop, I missed that one. And see if you can find the fish over there. And if not, then you might need to switch bait. You might need to just lead a line, uh, your leader length. Uh, might need to change hooks. Sometimes your hook can be like too big or too small. Here you guys can see he's tuck 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 tuck. And now that he take it. The other one is giving huge tucks. Oh the wrong rot. <laughs> yeah, and that's why we missed this one. You can see that something major is tucking on the bamboo. Uh, on the uh telestick, sorry. That one. He is doing some serious tugging. But he is taking its time. Uh, so that for me means uh, either common roach or one of the two. Christian or Christian carp. Oh, and now they're both going. Let's get this one first. Hi there. Yes. Thought it would be you. Ah, uh, got grief. Oh, no, he is still there. He took it again. Over here, little fella. And we've got another common roach. Nice. Very close now to level 3. What is it? Only 50 more XP. That is nice. Sometimes it is a bit hard to see. Because the lion's in front of it. We just have to angle ourselves a bit. Uh, let's give him another tiny tuck. There we go. Now we can pick you up. Over here, little fella. What are you? A goby. Yeah, gobies indeed I like to be a bit sneaky. And they will not run off with your bait. They'll just very slowly attempt to sneak off with your bait. Just like it does there. Very tiny tucks. And I'll just wait until he takes a bit more. And yes. Ah, he got off. We will set it down again. And we got something on our telestick. He's romancing. Not going for it yet. Well, on the bamboo, you guys can see. <laughs> Very slowly, he tries to run off of it. And we missed that gooby. Good. 
Yeah, using some real flirting now. Now we quit for a second, and then it gives a couple of more pulls. Not sure, still. Uh, Nabemu uh, did make up his mind. Ooh, there we go. And indeed, another goby. Try to run off with it. Now, whenever you get a message, means that you can't put it on the ground because something is in its way or you are standing in the water. And in this case, it was the other rock was in its way. As you can see, that carp is still romancing. Still doing a bit of flirting, still doing a bit of talking, not making up his mind until now. There we go. Oh, shoot. And we missed it. Ooh, curse those Chinese sooks. It can be a bit of a pain from time to time. It's like just one or two more fish away, and then we've leveled up until level three. Let's see, is that another goby? Not entirely sure if that is another goby. What do we have here? No, we caught ourselves a tench, the first one, and we leveled up. Our tench are great in XP, as you guys can see, 310 gives us 123. So those are awesome. That is lovely. Now, the bigger they get, the more darker of color they'll be. This one's actually not that dark, but he is still a baby tench. And they are truly awesome. And we'll tuck this one away and we'll wait until he goes. And then we'll sort our ass. So that is 10 fish if we get that one. And then it's 11. Nope, he got off. Uh, but that's alright. We have our 10 fish and we made it to level 3. I'm gonna sell our ass. Past the campfire, past the little tent. And then all we go over at Drunken Man's Path. Look at that. That tench gave us so many XP. That's already 20% closer to level 4. Now let's see our wares. Here we go. And here, as you guys could see, that 722 crucian, that lucky fish, gave us 1.75 cents. And here this common roach actually also gives us 28 cents because it was a fine specimen. Now uh, this one, he is a baby tench, so that is why he's not giving us a whole lot of money. That uh, still better than the goby hats, they in general do not pay a whole lot. Uh, and the small purchase. They also do not give us a whole lot of money, but in total we'll make 243. That is good. That is awesome. We'll sell these. And that is a new achievement. We make more money this time. Alright guys. So yeah, we made it to level 3. And I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play. And I hope to see you guys back again uh, in the next Let's Play video of Russian uh, Fishing 4. Um, like I said in the previous uh, movie as well, of uh, Let's Play, uh, I will still be doing tutorial videos, so uh, no worries. Uh, but I think it, it is a better way of, uh, or, or another way of showing you guys uh, the game. Uh, for me, just playing it and taking you guys uh, along. If you like the video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, do not forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave any comments below. Uh, and also, if you want to watch me play live, uh, please come visit me on my Twitch channel as well. Uh, more details you can find in the info below uh, on the video. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in another video of Russian Fishing 4. Bye bye for now.